The 2024 AFL season is finally here. And while many of us feel confident in our footy tipping, there's no doubt in my mind we're set for some early season surprises. In this video, we're gonna take a look back at some of the biggest round one upsets we've seen in recent times, and also take a look at whether those games would be a sign of things to come that year, or merely a flash in the pan. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel for plenty more AFL content. For the last big round one upset, we have to journey back to 2021, where we saw two big boilovers on the same day. We'll start with when the Adelaide Crows hosted Geelong at the Adelaide Oval. The Crows were coming off a wooden spoon in 2020 and had the tough ask of playing that year's runner-up first up. But they rose to the challenge spectacularly, jumping out of the block with fast, direct footy backed up with great pressure. Tex Walker kicked five that day, and while the Cats finished fast with five last quarter goals, the Crows would prevail by 12 points. The Cats finished third later that year, while the Crows would improve slightly to 15th, so this game remains an upset whichever way you slice it. That very same day, the Brisbane Lions played host to the Sydney Swans at the Gabba. Given that the Lions had finished second the previous two seasons, and the Travelling Swans had just finished 16th the year before, this game had a clear favourite. We saw an even first half initially, before the Swans blew the game open with a 9 goal third term to lead by 41 points at the last change. Errol Goulden and Logan McDonald kicked 3 goals each on debut, with the former claiming 2 Brownlow votes. The Swans claimed a surprising 31 point win, on their way to improving from 16th to 6th this year, while the Lions remained a good team with another top 4 finish. Then we move to the 2020 COVID affected season. This one is a bit of an anomaly, as it wasn't technically round 1, but there was a large gap between games before this clash happened between Gold Coast and West Coast. If you recall, which I'm sure you do, the AFL played out round one before suspending the season due to the pandemic, so when the Suns and Eagles did battle at Metricon, it more or less felt like round one. Gold Coast had just claimed a wooden spoon, yet they handed the Eagles a footballing lesson, and they had just finished fifth the previous year. The Suns kicked eight goals to one in the second half to win this game by 44 points, while Matty Rao claimed three Brownlow votes for an incredible debut. The Suns would improve to 14th that year, while the Eagles would finish 5th for a second season in a row. The next round 1 upset again involves West Coast, and was again played in Queensland. This was West Coast's first game following their 2018 Premiership, and they travelled to the Gabba to play the Lions, who had just finished in the bottom 4. The first quarter went to plan, with the Eagles kicking 6 of the first 7 goals, before the Lions completely flipped the script. They would be in front by half time and ended up kicking 14 goals to 2 after quarter time. In hindsight, this game wouldn't be considered an upset as the Lions finished top 2 while the Eagles finished 5th, but at the time it was certainly an unexpected performance. The first round of 2019 actually produced a second staying result, this time between Melbourne and Port Adelaide at the MCG. The Demons went into the season with a degree of expectation having made the prelim final the year before, while the Power had finished 10th and were playing away from home. The D's got the jump, kicking 4 goals to 2 in the opening quarter, before the Power claimed a narrow lead at the other 2 breaks. Port then held Melbourne scoreless in the final term to claim a 26 point win against the odds. Melbourne would slump to 17th that year unexpectedly, while the Power finished 10th again, so this game was, to some extent, a sign of things to come. Then we skip back a little bit to 2017, where Essendon took on Hawthorne at the MCG. The context for this match was that Essendon had won a wooden spoon the previous year, having had a swag of established players hit with a doping ban. The Hawks, having finished third the year prior, and being just one year removed from their 3 P, presented as a massive challenge for the Dons first up. But the Bombers completed a fairy tale comeback win, trailing the Hawks at halftime to win by 25 points on the back of a dominant third quarter. As would happen, the Bombers would finish seventh that season, while the Hawks would slump out of the eight. Then we skip back again in time to season 2014, when the Giants and the Swans went head to head in round 1 in a battle of the bridge. The Giants had finished with 2 wooden spoons in their first 2 seasons, and before this clash had only won 3 games in their history. The Swans by contrast had finished 4th and been premiers the year before that. Adding to the drama of this game was the fact that it was Buddy Franklin's debut at his new club after defecting from Hawthorne. After an enthralling first three terms, the Giants would kick six unanswered goals in the final term to beat their cross-town rivals and stun the AFL world with this result. The win wasn't so much a sign of things to come in this case, with GWS finishing 16th that year, while the Swans would top the ladder and play off in a grand final. 
In 2013, we saw Adelaide host Essendon in the season opening game at Amy Stadium in a split opening round. The Crows had finished second on the ladder the previous year, whilst the travelling Dons had finished 11th. The game started in familiar fashion with the Crows edging a 13 point quarter time lead before Essendon took their game to another level completely. They would outscore the much favoured Crows 17 goals to 8 after the first break to record a stunning 35 point victory. As it would happen, the Bombers did go on to finish 9th that year, two spots higher than Adelaide. You're probably noticing a trend by now, and that's that Essendon have a knack for round 1 upsets. They yet again feature in this next game, in round 1 of 2011. This time, the Bombers were coming off a season finishing 3rd last in 2010, while the Bulldogs had finished in the top 4. The Dons put in another performance that belied their ranking going into the game, dispatching the Bulldogs by 55 points as Joe Watson collected 35 touches and kicked 2 goals. This again would somewhat be a sign of things to come, as Essendon snuck into 8th spot that year while the Bulldogs slid down to 10th. So there you go, 9 of the biggest upsets we've seen in Round 1 in the AFL since 2010. I wonder what wacky results we might see this year across opening round and Round 1 itself. If there's any others you think I might have missed, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.